need a mirror. I... I... I haven't changed. Why... Why am I... Why haven't I changed? Oh yeah. Ticking clock. Exploding ship. TARDIS! Changed. Come on, open up. Don't die on me, old girl. No, 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 not yet. I need a full medical scan now. Don't you listen to me? You know who I am. It's me! Voice interface enabled. Oh, at last, someone I can rely on. What's wrong with the TARDIS? You are not recognized as a member of crew. Please state your name and rank. You can't be serious. You are not recognized as a member of crew. Please state your name and rank. What you talking about? Look at me! I look the same as you! How can I not be a recognized member of crew? You are not recognized as a member of Why do you keep saying that?! Okay. How do I register as crew? Only those, those of Gallifrey origin, origin may register as crew. What? Oh, don't be... Hang on. Hold the phone. Where is it? Where is it? Gotta be in here somewhere. Ah! Here it is. You do not you register, register as Gallifrey. As Gallifrey. You, you register, register as you. you. No, that's not how it's supposed to happen. Who are you? How did you find me? I assure you, I won't be here if it weren't the most utmost importance. But I realise we haven't seen each other in a very long time, so, uh... Hello, Yara. No. It can't be. Doctor? That's right. I knew you'd survive. Somehow I just knew. How long has it been for you since... since the war? I try not to think about it. I'm not here for a social visit. Then why are you here? It must have taken you a long time to trace me. You were President Romana's scientific advisor, right? I know you fled Gallifrey after the resurrection of Asselon, when she was deposed. I also know you spent some time on Khan with the Sisterhood. You were... watching me? Not the whole time, but when you spend so much of your life dying, it's hard to resist looking back from time to time. You studied multidimensional sciences under the Sisterhood, am I correct? I'm probably not the right person to ask. No, but... Yep, the only one I can trust. What's your problem, Doctor? I've been having dreams. Well, that's hardly unusual. These ones are... Watch.
<sighs> no! No. So what if I'm not a Time Lord? So what if I only have one heart? So what if I can't regenerate? I'm the Doctor. You're the TARDIS. And nothing is going to take that from me. on Hyperion territory. Take care, old friend. See you around. Good luck, you nutter. Designed by immortals. It's not built for mortal men. I know. I just. I need. I need more time. What is going on inside your head? That's just the thing. Um, I don't think it's happening inside my head. I think it's real. I think this is another version of me from another timeline. It was born from the same version as I was, with the same Doctor. You think something fractured the timeline and sent you down two different paths? Think we might have to entertain that possibility. Then what do you want to do? Do you want to fix the point in time so he doesn't exist? No. I want to find him. You can't seriously be asking me to help you cross into another dimension. What if this crack is bigger than just me? What if this has happened to others? It'd be irresponsible as a Time Lord to leave it unchecked. I don't serve the Time Lords. I can't help you. You're a please. I'm warning you, Doctor. If you don't leave this instant, I will do what I must. I believe you, but if you think this is going to stop me, you're very much mistaken. Okay, fine. A materialization circuit? It's a one-time use component. Install it into your console and you'll be able to break through the boundaries of our reality. You won't regret this, Yara. Hold steady, dear. It's my hurt.
Do we do it? Are we here? Hello? Doctor? Can anyone hear me? I'm looking for the doctor. And you have found him. In a manner of speaking. And who are you supposed to be? Don't you recognise this face? It's the one from your visions, isn't it? That's true, but uh, I have all people know there's not some woman a face. Well played, you got me there. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is The Veil. Ah, oh, pleasure to meet you. Where are we right now? This is my realm. The space between universes. From here, I can step into any reality I choose. But I cannot interfere. You're a being created from my actions. I was born as a result of the Doctor's meddling in extra-dimensional travel. And now I watch over the Doctors of the Multiverse. Including you. You're not who I think you are, are you? I have... made mistakes in the past. I now see it as my duty to make sure those mistakes are never made again. So, can you get me to where I need to be? I can. The doctor you seek is not as straightforward as he may appear, and he's been through a lot more than you know. Um, might I ask a question before we're on my way? If you watch over the multiverse, you've seen my recent past. Did I do the right thing? An excellent question. I believe you'll find the answer to your question from the Doctor when you meet him. That's not very helpful. Ah! Good luck, Doctor. This ain't unnerving at all. I'm looking for a man about this tall. Uh, hello. Brown hair, sharp suit, Roll Jackson, answers to the doctor. The Doctor? Doctor? Doctor, eh? Now who might that be? Hmm? No, wait! You know who I am, don't you? Nope. You've seen my face in dreams, visions. Never seen you before in my life. What are you trying to look at me? I assure you, I don't have the foggiest idea who you are. Now go away! These people don't like outsiders. I'm going nowhere. I know who you are, and I know you haven't forgotten. Either. long way for you. Well, you shouldn't have bothered. What, you dropped the charade? <sighs> yes. I know who you are. That's why I came here. To forget all that. To forget the dreams? To forget the doctor. It's not my title to carry anymore. 
Why not? I can't tell you. But you're still living TARDIS. You disguised it as the very place where you chose the title. So don't give me that. It's not like you'd understand. Try me. What's that? It's happening again. You stay here. Oh my goodness. Care to explain? It's a raid. You should get back to the TARDIS. You forget who you're talking to. I have no idea who I'm talking to. If you're going to be a liability, stay out of my way. Do you mind? You wanna help? Stop standing around. Who's standing around now? This isn't a game. I know. Are these what I think they are? If you think they're the Ford, yes. More of a fight than the Vord I remember. The Vord you remember were costumed characters compared to what they've become. These days, they're a mix of thousands of species that they assimilated. Their armor is alive. It alters the composition of a species right on contact. <sighs> right. Come on, you. To TARDIS? No, why would we go there? To the pub? I beg your pardon. You've got a lot of explaining to do. So you don't think we should maybe find where they came from and rescue the people that they just stole from right under your nose? Why should I do that? Because you're the doctor. Do not speak that name in front of me. That's your name. 
and we're not friends yet. So, you will address me as Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, you've actually gone mad. Look, if you want to go after those people, then that's on you. Leave me here. You're going to be all right? Don't worry, I'll sort this out. You killed that vault. It was self-defense. You protected me out of instinct. I know there's still some of you in there, Doctor, so don't expect me to buy this old Mr. Smith thing you're putting on. It's not just that. The TARDIS doesn't respond to me anymore. Why not? Long story. It's okay to have secrets, but if we're going to do this, we have to do it together. I was led here for a reason, and I think we have all to learn from each other. Hmm. <sighs> old girl seems different to mine, but can't quite put my finger on it. You're in my reality now. She's seen some stuff that you haven't in the last few years. So, has everything been different for you, or have you lived some of the same events? Well, let's see. Camelot, Atrios, the Grand Canyon, the Eternity Clock. Oh, that some sounds familiar. Wait, Camelot? Oh yeah. I've been around the block. So what about you? Where have you been? We're almost there. Ban in the heart of the Ford territory. Just like the old days, eh? Are you always this happy? And you're not being such a downer, yeah? Come on, old Sam, we've got work to do. Course is clear. Let's get a shift on. <sighs> hmm. Chameleon circuits still need some work. So we're still on seabed about three miles down. Pressure seems about normal. Gravity's in check. Vibranium infrastructure. Lined with concrete. Glad to see you, so getting back in the swing of things. Let's just get this over with. I don't know how your screwdriver works, but I should be able to trace it from mine. I suggest we split up. That might be better. For my sanity and your safety. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, you stick to it right, I'll go left. this.
These seem to be artefacts taken from each species they've thought of coming into contact with. Maybe each species have assimilated. This human, Krillitane, Silurian. Oh no. Get back to the TARDIS. It's a trap. Doctor, pick up. know how I imagined the Ford would speak. Alas, I have chosen a vocabulary and tone that I thought would suit you. Somewhat patronizing, but somewhat approachable. I can't imagine all the knowledge that must be going into a being like you. So many brains, and so many of them think of you. We don't have any Time Lords in our ranks, and yet, here you are. Here by your own free will. You could call it that. <clears throat> Say, you seen the metal tube, silver and gold, three prong emitter at the end, answer to the name Sonic Screwdriver? Oh no, why? Why? I was beginning to like that one. A gesture of good faith. Good faith, eh? How about this for a gesture of good faith? You release the villagers now. No harm will come to them, I swear. At least, not while they are under my care. Where are they? you want with me? We miss only one thing from our menagerie. A higher life form. Think of the power we could possess indoctrinating a Time Lord. Hello, hello. Don't suppose you could help me, could you? Seems to have misplaced my Time Lord. What are you doing? Who is the female? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I'm the Doctor, and I'm very cross. Careful, you wouldn't like her when she's cross. I'm not cross with them, Shaggy. I'm cross with you. Me? What are you just sitting there for? You're strong enough to break free of those shackles, stand up to your oppressors, and shut down the Vaud's armour to free the colonists. 
Well, if you're so smart, how do you suppose I'd do that? Regeneration energy, silly. Yes. Regeneration energy to sustain the fourth form for eternity. Why is it always regeneration energy? The procedure will begin. The Ford form will be released to assimilate you on contact. Actually, you might have a bit of trouble there. I don't think so. Trouble? Oh, don't say trouble. What kind of trouble? Begin the procedure. Yes, there's Be something I probably should have mentioned earlier. What is it? Enough. I'm... I'm not exactly a Time Lord anymore. What? I lost my regenerations. I only have one heart. Why didn't you say something? Why do you think? Because I was ashamed. You show up out of nowhere and you're so... So! The Doctor. Maybe more than I've ever been. How could I bear to look you in the eye if you know what I am? So you're completely useless. Sorry. Well... We may as well make use of what we have. What? The extract will be released. No, 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 no! Anything to say, Doctor? Okay, I'll go. We don't exactly know each other, but we're all we've got, so I need you to trust me. If you have telepathic circuits, now is the time. You know what we need to find. I need you. Did you know? Did you know what had happened to him? Not to the full extent. I knew he was badly hurt, but it's difficult to watch them all so closely at once. How could he not be a Time Lord anymore? How is that even possible? It took a great many of his most powerful foes to take that from him. I hope now you can at least see things from his point of Fix view- Fix him. I'm sorry? Give him back his regenerations, make him a Time Lord again. And give the Vord the power they seek. He can't find them as Mr. Smith. We need the Doctor back. Maybe being a Time Lord is not what makes the Doctor. Maybe it's not being able to change your face or having run away from Gallifrey in a blue box. Maybe all it takes to be the Doctor is to make the right choice at the right time. Making somebody the Doctor is not my responsibility, Time Lady. It is theirs. So wasting my time. There's nothing you can do. I certainly can't bring his regenerations back. But maybe not nothing. What did you have in mind? It's not going to be easy. I'm going to need your help. And maybe a few others too. The Time Lord cannot go far. We must fulfill our purpose. Is it me you're looking for? How? Wouldn't you like to know? What? How is this possible? Intruder alert. Ordinate. At every point, the process must continue. Protect the life form.
Don't worry, old man. I've got you. Take this base, Doctor. The Ford will live on while you die here, screaming. Not quite yet. Before I go, I've got one thing to say. Swiss Army Screwdriver. I'll take that. Hey. If you feel like having any brilliant plans, now is the time. Anyone in need of a lift? After you. Where did all the others go? Displaced back to their own dimensions. They won't even remember these events. You seem... well dressed. Why thank you. Not bad yourself. Oh I mean it. The cheekbones, the compass shirt, the dress sense, you've got it all mate. You guys want to get a room? Right. Sorry. So what's the story here? Take a wild guess. Your voice. I know that <laughs> A product of the cracks in time created by you and your alternate self, yes. In fact, he is a future version of this lady here. Well, what do you know? Seems you and I have quite a history. I look forward to it. There's more. What? You both have a lot to thank each other for, you know. In order to save your life, Doctor, I was forced to create several fragments in the timeline to create alternative versions of events in which you would turn out differently. Tiny things, like... Having the TARDIS deliver you to different destinations before your last regeneration, or... It was you! Will not change! Who is that? I'm the Doctor! Oh, I don't think so. You may be a Doctor, but I am the Doctor. The original, you might say. I created the ripples that formed the tidal wave that created you. Both of you. And many more. With a little help from the TARDIS, of course. By the way, I'm not sure you really need to bother with that chameleon circuit. The old box has its charm. I don't suppose you'll remember this, but keep an eye out for the collective. They're going to be a lot of trouble for us both later down the line. The Collective, eh? I'll have to bear that in mind. Anyway, glad to know the multiverse is in safe hands. Yeah. One more thing. When we talked about regenerative trauma, what did you mean, you and me both? You seem to have turned out fine. I didn't want to change, as you know. Even as I was changing, I felt that doubt, but now... 
it's like I'm a completely different person. Everything is brand new and I don't regret changing, but the memory is still there. The memory of being somebody else. The memory of not wanting to be the doctor anymore. I don't know the feeling anymore, but I know it was there. Maybe something to think about. Wherever you go, think of me now and then, will you? She seems nice. She's going to have a lot of fun. You can too, if that's your choice. But only you can make it. It's not my choice though. Not really. Look what happened when I chose not to be the doctor for just one moment. That colony nearly lost everyone. Even if I did go after them, I would have failed if it wasn't for her. You weren't yourself in that moment, but everything you were, everything you can do, is still in you. You don't have to be a Time Lord to be the Doctor. What do you suggest I do? Write a list. List? A bucket list, if you were. If this is to be your final life, decide what you most want to do with it, and then do it. Find purpose in the things that give you the most joy. What? Huh? Never be cruel or cowardly. Never give up. Never give in. You know, maybe one more trip won't hurt anyone. I mean, what have I got to lose? One last one.